Guys, I'm here today to talk to you about something we've all experienced in Sea of Thieves. How many times have you pulled up on that brig or that sloop or that galleon? You're all excited about jumping on board and doing some serious pillaging and looting. You jump on board, you get the hand-to-hand -hand combat done, you're victorious. It's time to scoop up all that glorious treasure and you look around and you start to realize that, my God, I'm on a floating disaster. It happens to me all the time. We got a serious problem in Sea of Thieves, guys, and it's called boat maintenance. And I'm here to help you with that today. Hang in there just a second, guys. What is going on, everybody? It's your favorite old man gamer. It's Eat Lead Scumbag from over at Mixer. And today we're going to be talking about things you need to do to be taking care of your boat when you're out there sailing on Sea of Thieves. And you are def going to want to hit that subscribe button right away while we're thinking about it because this is only part one in a series of maintenance tips that's going to help you have the best looking boat on the Sea of Thieves except for mine. Let's get started right now. Keeping your boat properly maintained, running efficiently, and looking good, like mine, is no easy task. After each sail, guys, you're going to want to take the time to dive in the water and inspect the hull of your boat. There are specific areas you're going to want to look at. Here, here, and take the time to give this area a very good look over. When you're down there swimming around, you're looking for deep scratches or scuffs, or if bare wood is showing, you need to understand that paint is the film that prevents water from entering the wood, and a break in that film can spell disaster for you when you're out at sea. Varnish is a lot more vulnerable to breakdown than paint is, and it needs a lot more frequent inspections, so don't be afraid to hop in that water, get down there, and take a good look at the underneath of your boat. After you're sure everything looks good up there, then let's move up and take a look at the deck. Now the deck of your boat is a whole nother animal. Unlike your hull, it sets above the water line and it's exposed to oxygen. Decks take a lot of abuse from the sun and the rain and they require special care. As you can see, cracks in the wood joinery on deck are prone to trapping water and rotting. And any spaces between wood joints need to be glued again or at least tarred and here's another special tip from your boy Eat Lead Scumbag. Don't swab those decks with fresh water, guys. Fresh water breeds mold and mildew. Salt water doesn't do it. Just a quick tip. Now, boom. There's my boy Flintlock McGillicuddy, guys. And he likes to do things right. So he's over in the corner where water tends to gather. He's looking for mold and mildew. And just keep in mind, guys, mold and mildew equals rot. Hoo-wee! Look at Flintlock now. He is really on the ball. Guys, areas like this where a cloth meets wood need special attention as well. That cloth gains moisture. Again, moisture equals rot, and believe it or not, moisture is a boat's worst enemy. Now, pirates, those are just some quick tips and tricks that you can do between sails when you're docked up unloading treasure to take care of your boat during the sailing season. But what about the off-season? Well, fact is, guys, in the off-season, taking care of a wooden boat doesn't get easier. Fact is, you're going to have to break out even the bigger guns. But before I get into that, which I'm fixing to, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys, because there's nobody else in the Sea of Thieves except your favorite old man gamer, Eat Lead Scumbag, that's giving you these kind of tips. Now, here's what you got to do in the off-season, guys. There comes a time in every pirate's life where you got to dry dock that boat. Dry docking is going to allow you the time to make those much-needed wood repairs that are going to be needed after any hard sailing season. And not only that, guys, but the best part, putting those new colors on that rig for the new sailing season coming. Yeah, Flintlock's happy now because he knows he has a boat that is well-maintained. He's put in all the hard choring, and he will be reaping all the benefits when he's hauling that treasure aboard, guys. Go, Flintlock, go. Guys, if you've got any suggestions for me to make some maintenance videos, put them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our next video where we're going to be talking about cross-contamination in the kitchen 
and how to keep those harpoon tips sharpened. I'm your favorite gamer. I'm Eat Lead Scumbag. You can find me over at Mixer Guys. Check me out anytime. Thank you so much.